So, this is a story of how two computer engineers, an electrical engineer, and a mechanical engineer rapidly developed one of the most innovative solutions to combat one of the main issues with drones, noise. Yeah, we were selected by Boeing to be sponsored for this project. So, they created Project mRNA. So, mRNA stands for Multi-Rotor Noise Attenuation, which, with the help of people at Boeing... How are you doing? I'm Rob Krenkel from the Boeing Company. Uh, my Boeing colleagues and I have been uh, happy to sponsor them with a $1,000 budget. And that's the story of how they developed a silent drone. While it produces a null region in a specific direction that we define, it's pretty cool to see it play out. Thank you. Meet Dr. Greenwood, the main customer behind this project. Well, so recently there's been a great interest in uh, vertical lift aircraft and uh, we're exploring in this project a technique to reduce the noise called synchrophasing where you can cancel out uh, the noise created by one rotor by uh, using the noise that's generated by another rotor on a multi-rotor vehicle. So, let's explore how this device works. I mean, the short of it is, essentially, we have an inline four rotor setup, and these four rotors are constantly adjusting their relative phase angles such that they converge and produce a null region. Okay, let's slow down a bit. Can you talk a bit more about the phase angle thing? According to a paper published by the NASA Langley Research Center, if you position two rotors such that there's a constant phase offset in between them, there will generate some destructive interference, which will result in a null region where there is reduced sound and we can calculate the exact direction. Moving on, can you tell me a bit more about the design? So essentially what we have is what I like to call the central hub. Now the central hub receives a 24 volt power supply. Now this power input gets distributed through a power delivery board to all four of our motors. And when you communicate with the motors, what exactly are you sending to it? Well, that's where our algorithm comes into play. And essentially, we used a PID to accomplish this. This PID sends set and get commands to the motors to make sure they're following a specific phase angle that's calculated based off the polar coordinate that we input. And the result of that is phase shifting motors. Here we are in the anechoic chamber in the basement of the Hammond building. We've been testing our prototype in here for the past couple of days, trying to see if we can generate and steer our null region. So as you can see here, this is the polar plot for when the propellers are running at 4460 RPM. The PID line is around 2 decibels lower than the non-PID line, the red line. So there you have it. One, two, three, four engineers plus $1,000 is equal to... 